Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Mr. Khan. Welcome to the monthly vlog for May and I look back at April has firstly got to apologise for the lack of videos in the second half of April. Unfortunately, family emergency came up, someone went to hospital, so I had to help out, and that's why there was a decrease in videos instead of the third week of April, and then why I just took the week off at the end of April. So that's why there's a bit of an absence on this channel. I didn't realize you can actually post stuff like updates on the channel. I'll do that from now on instead of this, but yeah, I do apologize for not updating you sooner and for just a lack of content in April. But we did manage to finish at least one series. We did manage to finish Gravel, finally. And as I said, it's a game which is all right. Maybe worth a tenner if you can get it on sale on Steam, but we're moving on from that and trying to finish some more series in May before we re really get the releases going in June and in the next coming months. So in May, we're trying to end Dakar 18. We're halfway through the Dakar rally and I think we've got seven or eight stages to go. We've got four weeks in May. You can probably see what's happening. So we're gonna try and put on a stage every Saturday and Sunday this month and hopefully decorating will be finally done at the end of the month and then other series we've got Barge Edge Control that will probably be coming in November try and finish try and play the 250, 500 and 1000 rallies when we have the Barge 1000 in that month and then we've also got another series at the weekend which is coming back well there's more We've got like iRacing, because I've been away from that for the past few weeks, obviously. And then we've got the other Sims. We've got R Factor 2, which has come out with the Gen 2 Formula E car. Still got to show off some of the Risa DLC as well. And they're updating that in May, at the end of May, I think. They're releasing two more versions of Imola. So definitely got to show that off. And then Race Room, coming out with the Fault so I can ID R, but the long tail version which is going to ride around the north side try and break the electric record brilliant to see that car in a sim finally it was in v rally 4 and i did show off that car in v rally 4 but i thought i wouldn't really do it just until we saw it in a sim now we're getting that in race room it's a shame they don't have the hill climb version i don't think i think they just have it for the track version and it's only for you to drive around the Nurb Nurburgring or the North Shire because they're having a competition with that car until I think the end of October where they finally pick out the winners. And yeah, you know, I'll definitely be trying out for I was making IDR. I'm so excited to actually try out as well in race room. So that'll definitely be coming in the next week. I'll probably need to get a handle around that. Same with the Formula Gen 2 car. There's lots of systems and stuff I need to get used to in that car. And as I said, they, they also in the update, they've just released for the roadmap for May. They're coming out with Monaco, the Formula E layout, when it when they race around there in the next week or two. So definitely want to try the Formula E car around Monaco and see what that handles like. As we've already had Hong Kong with the Gen 1 car and they released kind of their fictional track as well, the Leicester track when they released the Gen 2 car. It's just a shame we don't have many street circuits to try these Formula E cars round. I know there's mods all over the place, but actually, officially realized content from Studio 397. It's just a shame we just see you have one track per release or two tracks for the Gen 2 car. Maybe get three tracks when the Gen 3 car comes around in five years' time. Maybe that's what's going to happen. And then we'll finally have at least a handful of tracks to try these Formula E cars round. But yeah, I definitely want to try out those electric vehicles and also at the weekend maybe some other sims i said i race and get back into indycar get back into the gt3 fix series and some rallycross as well and try that out so that's the weekend but during the weekdays another series going to try and end is supercross 2 we're around halfway through the season now so we've got 10 rounds left 10 or 11 rounds left we've got again you know four weeks left in may so you can probably guess the countdown to when that series is going to end. It's just going to be one series of Supercross 2 because in 
June comes MotoGP 19. They much want to play MotoGP 19. They're going to all they have shown off Milestone. Doesn't look like it handles any different, but again, we never fit, we never understand that totally until the game is in your hands and you play it for yourself. So yeah, definitely looking forward to MotoGP 19 and all the content it's got. And then we've got F1 2019 as well coming out. I might, I'm tempted to try it out because they've got the F2 cars in there now. So there's actually some progression a bit like the MotoGP. So tempted to try out F1 2019, but again, it's the same with say like F1 2018, while I wasn't tempted to play that, it's just a lot of time to record and a lot of time for a series to develop as well with you know how everything changes every season and all the rules can change as well. So it just takes a very long series. I'm okay with doing it for MotoGP 19 because most of the time that game can be recorded in much less time but and as I said there's a prog nice progression through there from the Rookies Cup to MotoGP but now with F2 getting up into F1 maybe a season being a rookie and then developing the team around you for the next couple of seasons very interested in trying it out and seeing what it's like and F1 2018 was a great setup from F1 2017 on the single player side once again multiplayer I'm not do they even bother with multiplayer? They've had a customization. And some they've made it, they've had some overlays and made it a bit better to manage the leagues now. It looks like in 2019, but still, if it's not gonna, you're not gonna have a good connection. If you're gonna desync in every race, what's the point really? So yeah, that's big if once again on the online side. But at least, you know, single player once again looks pretty decent in F1 2019. Even though the handling has kind of got away from what I like. Like, I like the more arcadey handing actually in the F1 games. Now that they're trying to be half or semi realistic with it, just not quite feeling it at the moment with the F1 game handing. But we saw what it is in 2019 and maybe try it out as well. I'm talking about June. Hang on, what are we having in May? So, what, apart from Supercross 2, try and finish that. Of course, we've got Dirt Rally 2.0, try and return to that career mode. So, that could actually. And I couldn't be over this month, probably maybe next month, try and wrap that up, that career mode, try and get up to the master difficulty and have at least one season in the master difficulty, but it's so tough on Elite. I've got to get back in that Group P beast as well. I'm going to be crashing into all the trees in Poland and then, and then we've got three more rounds after that. I've also got to try out Sweden as well because that got released last, last week. I haven't had a chance to, you know, I haven't even been on my wheel in the past three weeks. That's how kind of busy I've been. So yeah, definitely want to try that. I'm just how kind of relaxed I've been trying to be as well. So yeah, Dirt Rally 2.0, Supercross 2 during the week. Dangerous driving as well. I'll try and finish that off this pump as well. And I'm going on one episode kind of per day on the Tuesday and Thursday. I might amp that up to just every weekday of dangerous driving because it's not that long a series dangerous driving but it is releasing the multiplayer update as well in may for free so definitely want to try out multiplayer because there's definitely something feels like it's missing in single player so maybe trying out multiplayer it would be much more dangerous driving in the game i'll see what he did with the title now and so yeah definitely looking out for the dangerous driving multiplayer update but single player definitely try and finish it this month as well and just try and wrap up What's that free series? I think try and get those off the list and just have a handful of series, hopefully, to manage going into the future. But also, coming out at the end of this month, or at least on the 23rd, is a Seto Corsa Competizione finally out of early access. And I think we have the 2018 season, I can't remember the 2019 season coming out at the same time if that's going to be coming out later, but definitely want to try playing it out around the same time when the blanc pan rounds come out so during the weekend just have so like an hour race if it's going to be a sprint series or if it's going to be the endurance series maybe not have the full 24 hours of spa but maybe like an hour to race just to you know just to kind of play along with you know the real life series and see how interesting the set of course of competition only is because i haven't really played it in early access i wanted to save it till it came out of early access and it looks like they've made good strides in multiplayer after having to rework the whole code and in single player as well and the physics especially look fantastic so 
I'm not the biggest fan of GT3 cars, but I think a set of course coming to your shiny is something I do want to play, especially competitively maybe. Because again, it's got an online system which looks interesting. So yeah, definitely want to try out so of course a competition only at the end of the month. But mainly for the month, two videos per day for the whole of the week again starting from next week so you have dangerous driving and that'll be it tomorrow it's along with supercross and then on friday maybe again just supercross and dangerous driving maybe a little look at race room if i get it. actually i have to reinstall it maybe not race room on friday but maybe a look at the full me car on friday and then at the weekend i racing dakar 18 especially and then at next week we've got dangerous driving monday to friday that probably be the evening video because it doesn't take too long to record took a heck of a long time to edit the last episode because i was so rubbish but hopefully i won't be that rubbish in the future and then in the morning supercross 2 on monday wednesday and friday on tuesday and thursday have dirt rally 2.0 and that would be poland and i can't remember the other round and then we've got two more rounds at the elite level with the group p car and then we might go to an easier car for me to try and get up to the master level that's now giving myself three goes at the elite level see if we can get up to the master level if i don't do it after the third season and probably the easiest car i can drive which would probably be maybe going back to the skoda or the citroen 2010 citroen actually i've got to check out the cars that have been released as well and well, I did check out the Pro Car. That was really good fun driving the Pro. I might actually try and choose the Pro Car, even though it's a very difficult car to drive. Maybe choose that for one of the elite seasons as well, because that is such good fun driving that around Poland. So, yeah, Dirt Rally 2.0 though on the Tuesday and Thursday. You might see some TTR of Man as well coming at the end of the month because the TTR of Man actually happens. It's starting at the end of the month as well in early June. So, yeah, you might see that back. I know. I think I've still got. A way to go before I actually do the TT in the career mode so I might have to play that a bit and catch up to that kind of moment and our TT debut in TT Isle of Man career mode because that was such a grind I think after 38 episodes I was only a season in and we were nowhere near having enough fans to take part in the TT so I think it's another season I've got the grind but I try and play up to the part where I have to you know take part in the TT and we'll see how that goes but that is may that was april of course you know everything declined in april hopefully you can build it all back up in may for the releases in june so sign up for watching and i will see you next time